Life Audio. Thank you for listening to Your Daily Prayer, a podcast dedicated to helping you find the words you need to connect with your Father in Heaven. No matter what is going on in your life today, you can trust that God wants to hear from you. Right after this short word from our sponsor, we will pray through today's prayer together. A prayer for flexibility in our planning. You can make many plans, but the Lord's purpose will prevail. Proverbs 19, 21. My phone buzzed and my children's school appeared on the caller ID. My initial thought was to send it to voicemail. With only 30 minutes left in the day, this couldn't be anything of major importance. Probably just one of those automatic dialers. But something told me I should answer. Miss Bailey, your child has a fever. You need to come pick her up. My heart sank, but not for the right reason. Yes, I was concerned that my child was sick, and I hated to think of her sitting in the nurse's office, pitifully waiting for me to come and rescue her. I was upset because her sickness meant that our weekend plans were out the window. I know, I probably won't win any Mother of the Year's award with that admission. The last few weeks had been incredibly busy for our family. My husband and I barely got a chance to speak most days, surviving off a peck and a few text messages to sustain our relationship. We needed a date night, and just that morning, a relative offered to keep the girls so we could have dinner. Sans three rambunctious kiddos. On the way to school, I became more agitated, thinking about the numerous times illness or something else with the kids thwarted our attempts at some mommy and daddy alone time. Spending time with my husband is a good thing, and working on our marriage is vital. So why did it seem that something always came up every time we planned to go out? In Proverbs 19.21, Solomon understood the importance of having a good plan. He most assuredly ascribed to those who fail to plan, plan to fail mentality. Maybe his reason for stressing the importance of a good plan was that he oversaw all the intricate details involved in designing and building the temple and other important structures in his kingdom. Whatever the reason, in Solomon's wisdom, he reinforced throughout Proverbs the importance of consulting with godly counsel, seeking God's will, and all of the vital parts of the planning process. However, Solomon also warns us that we mustn't hold our plans with a tight fist, but rather an open palm. Humans can provide the perfect plan, outline the right roadmap for success, or perfect their proposal. But only the Lord's intentions will come to fruition. That doesn't mean we should neglect to make any arrangements, abandon thinking about the future, or squash excitement for an upcoming event. However, we do have to remain flexible in our planning because sometimes our plans don't work out the way we hope. Sometimes we need the reminder that God's will trumps our plans. James 4.15 After I got my daughter home and settled, I updated the sitter we wouldn't be coming tonight and canceled the weekend plans. And instead of annoyance, I felt relief. More than we needed a date night, God knew our family needed to rest and relax. The unforeseen illness and canceled plans resulted in a cleared calendar and reminded us how God works all things, good and bad, out for our good and His glory. May we approach planning humbly, learning to adjust and adapt when things don't work out how we hoped. Because God is all-knowing and loves us dearly, we can trust His plans are always better than anything we orchestrate. May this truth free us to hold our plans loosely, adapt quickly, when things don't work out the way we hoped. Let's pray. Dear God, thank you for your sovereign control over all areas of our lives. Please guide us as we seek to do your will by leaning on your words in the scriptures. Help us to be flexible in our planning and approaching planning with humility and surrender. May we not rely on our own ability, leaning on godly wisdom and trusting that you're always working for the good of your people. When our plans fail, give us the grace to adjust and adopt finding an opportunity to be joyful in our circumstances. Let us be encouraged not to boast about tomorrow, but take great delight in serving you today in everything we say and do. Thank you for your salvation plan, sending your son to redeem your creation from this fallen world. We love you. Amen. Your Daily Prayer is a production of Life Audio and Salem Media. 
If you liked what you heard today, please take a second to rate and review this podcast in your favorite podcast app so that more listeners like you can find the show. For more faith-filled, inspirational podcasts, visit us at lifeaudio.com.